بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته سي برادر جيب الروماني and welcome to another episode of my تسكيه where we're tackling porn addiction and also just responding to your questions in general please support my تسكيه program sponsor a membership for someone who is suffering from porn addiction the question today is what's your advice to people who don't have foundations in the deen and they basically deal with different strategies when it comes to when they face hardships what do you, what's your take on these hardships and what do you advise well most people who don't have attachment to the deen or foundations in a deen will most likely turn to um, different medicine different forms of help and support maybe from friends and family if they're facing hardships most people despair and that's where they basically start going towards uh, drugs alcohol sometimes if they're not committed to the deen then they it's easy to slip and if you understand hardship usually it leads to anxiety being unsettled and it can lead to depression most people don't treat depression most people don't talk about depression so i would say one of the strategies that they cope with is that they do nothing and then it just snowballs and it becomes worse and worse which can lead to more problems such as self harm and even suicide second as i said substance abuse substance abuse others might turn you know just different forms of escapism it could be sex drugs alcohol music whatever others will turn to sports or you know it's like they have a need to to belong to another group it might be like a, a club or something going out partying just trying to forget about the the pain so these are some of the ways that i've seen now what's my advice my advice first and foremost before i give my advice i would say that even those who are attached to the deen sometimes will still not be able to choose the correct coping strategies when it comes to difficulties in life we know that Allah Subhanahu says ala bidhikrillahi tatma'inu al-qulub in the remembrance of Allah hearts find tranquility. Yes, you can work out, you can go for a run, you can do therapy, but in the end you have to turn to Allah. It has to be at the core of your strategy in dealing with these problems. The problem is today in the 21st century we take medicine, we do everything before we turn to Allah and finally in the end when there's no more hope we say, Ya Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, I believe it's Ibrahim alayhi salam talking, وَإِذَا مَرِدْتُ فَوَيَشْفِينَ And when I am sick, indeed it is He, Allah, who actually cures me. We have to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah, I know it's not easy. You can't just say, well, I'm just going to pray and make dua when I'm depressed. There's strategy. You talk to people, you go to therapy, you move, uh, fitness, because that helps a lot. You sleep, try to sleep well. You have loved ones that surround you and so on and so forth. You talk to yourself. Self-talk is huge and very important in dealing with stress and anxiety. But at the same time, tahajjud, TTT, therapy through tahajjud, qiyam al-layl, turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's, it's all done in parallel. You have to always put Allah first. So a person who fully understands their purpose in life, who created them, who put them on this earth, and who allowed even for this difficulty to happen, will know who to turn to. To the same one who put him on this earth, to the same one who has made everything possible, that's the one that you turn to. Allah says, فَأَيْنَ تَدْحَبُونَ Where are you going? Where are you running away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? In it is just a reminder for all the mankind. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the times of need. And of course, to our families and friends, our loved ones, to help us and to our professionals. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has allowed and has facilitated for this to happen. To help each other. Help each other in righteousness and, and God consciousness. بارك الله فيكم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته